You got the Lego I look short from this angle. Oh, you look great. We're at Brea Skate Park. I was meant to skate yesterday. I was explaining it to Dan. Like, Don't tell I'm... people this. It's relatable though. Okay. It's Not to me, relatable. but... That's where we differ. Yeah. Um, I was planning to go skate yesterday morning, but I got up, tried on a few outfits. Nothing was hitting, and I got trapped in my head, and I didn't go skate. I just stayed home. I mean, I totally agree that there's truth, though. When you yeah. wear an outfit that feels good, uh -huh. you feel really good on your yeah, board. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and it just wasn't happening yesterday, and I didn't mm. want to force it. That's where Dan differs, because he does agree a little bit, but he's just like... Well, it's because I don't know how to dress. Yeah. So, like, I'm so used to looking like shit outfit-wise. He wears maternity pants. Yeah, I literally... Oh, yeah, I just bought a whole bunch of them. They actually. look good, though. Dude. Thank they you. Like, yeah, fresh pieces. Yeah. I'm trying to wax this ledge with this little Lego wax. It's already melting in my hand. It's very hot today. It's like 25 degrees. Um, Stop yeah. saying that to them. They don't know what that means. 25 degrees Celsius, so do the math. I think it's like 80 degrees or something like that. 80 degrees American. Oh yeah, it's just melting as you touch it. Yeah, look. Yeah, that ain't that ain't working. Oh, how do you flip out of that? You just gotta sit on the tail, put your body weight over the ledge, so you get a good like stand-up point, like you're about to drop in, and then dip and flick. I always suck at bringing my front foot to where it needs to be, though. Oh yeah, you gotta learn how to wiggle it when how you're sliding. You, you just literally just like you're putting out a cigarette on your board. Woo! Yep. Dip, flick. No, 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 no. Dip, then flick. So it's dip, and then you bounce it up like you're gonna do a tip power ollie, and you give it a little flick. Find it. Cause you're gonna want to be able to do that like really consistently before you try to do it out of a sliding one. Yeah, oh, wow. like that. Sean really is real guy these days. That was first go. Ready, ready, ready. Oh! I was talking about in my video how hard that trick is down stuff. <laughs> Whoa, I was saying crook the rail. <laughs> crook the rail. Oh, yeah. rail? Yeah, I never see you crook rails. That was really good in first try. Tom's been on one lately. He's like progressing at skating. Like definitely. You should try to get into a crook at the very beginning of the rail and see what happens. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Just try one. Popping out of this crack. No, no, no. Pop, pop, pop at the beginning. I wasn't as scared as I thought. No, that was awesome. You popped out early. What happened? You just missed the lock. Try to lean to the other side and pop over. Yeah, lean over to the other side. Yeah, I was just saying, once you lean straight over top of the rail on a crook, like you start off from the side, but then you slowly adjust your body weight on top of it, and then you can just sit there for as long as you want. And it almost goes a little backside nose grindy, but you're pinched crook. Exactly like that. Yeah, you're just there. Do that again at the beginning and try to pop over. It's just that first beginning of the rail is what's sketchy. Yeah, get, the, the, get into it is definitely scary. Yeah. Once you're in though, you're chilling. It's like front crooks are the same thing. It's scary to get into but once you're in, you're chilling. Yeah. Get out. That, was that was so good. Beautiful. <laughs> you like popped over, but you were at the end. That's easier than it, it is, appears. Once you get a nice lock in on the K, it's like you're done. Because your shoulders are already going this way. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like you learned that way faster than you should have. You reckon? Yeah, I think that trick's really hard to figure out for the first time because it's scary to put your body weight over there, but you just yeah. kind of handled it. Do another one going a little slower and pop over Ooh. before the end of the rail. Okay, try to get it out like earlier. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it feels like? What's it feel like? Front nose pop out. Front nose pop out? What yeah. are you talking about? It feels like you're doing a front nose grind pop out on the left. Oh, front nose grind. Oh, I forgot you have that trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So it's in the back. It's one of my favorite looking tricks. I'm so stoked you're learning it insanely fast.
Yeah, it just feels like I'm doing a, like once you're in the crook and on the right side of the rail, it just feels like I'm popping out from a ledge. Yeah, I just think having like the, the confidence to go to the other side of the rail is the hard part, but you seem to not have a problem with that. Yeah, I feel like once your weight's there, it's just like pulling it out. Okay, I mean, yeah, Maybe it works for you. Like it works for you. You're good at pulling out, you know? <laughs> your seven kids say otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, that was really good. Okay. Shouts Dude. out, uh, I don't know. People, whoever invented the crook whoever cobbler, invented I guess. The crook. Was it Randy Marlin? No. Wasn't it K, K, K grind? Uh, Wasn't Carson. it Carson? Yeah, but he didn't invent it, I don't think. Yeah. Crispy. Was that one? Yeah. My deck didn't touch the ledge there. It touched my heart. <laughs> this is basically the spot. This is very similar to what I grew up skating. I grew up skating this football field up the road from my house and it was a very similar setup. This definitely has more steps. The one back home had like a couple and there was like a two set you could like ollie off or whatever. But yeah, that's wax there waxed here and yeah there's like a step on rail here if you're able to like balance and then grind down there but I tried it last time didn't work dan's right here in the flesh yeah, yeah i'm about to skate this he's about oh, to uh set. what yeah, just so, like there's no way you could skate this look you think that'll stop me dude Why you have to it? and then ollie nose manual i think someone grind at one of these rails really no <laughs> <laughs> this is the spot dude we're in the shade too. I just wanted, I can't remember what I was doing, but it was fun and it looked cool. So I'm gonna try and figure out and remember what it is. Yeah, hey, do the line, dude. Front 180, switch 180, back tail, right on, I guess. Because I can't remember what I did last time here. Because I was here with Dale. You were mucking around on that and I seen this and I did this like two seconds before we left. I was like, damn, I wish I got that back. Let's see how we go. It all depends on how I land coming out of that switch 180 because it has to be a, like a nice land back tail. It can't be like, ooh. If I did one, it was gross. <laughs> that was slow. I think it was cool. How did that happen? What happened? You didn't 5 0. You what grinded happened? the whole thing though. How did it? When what I know a 5 0, because 5 0s grind easier than 50s. You reckon I need to like push it? I did something wrong? Yeah, you didn't do it. <laughs> you got this track. That was sick. Crusty. You could see the cross. Go, 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 go. Front tail. Front tail? Yeah. <laughs> Try a blunt slide pop out. That's the trick I really want to see. I've actually, this is the trick I wanted to learn at the spot the other day if I went skating by myself, but I didn't. Well, hey, you can learn it here on this much worse <laughs> ledge. Way worse. I feel like it would work though. I feel like it's a good ledge for it. Pretty wet, so I'm just. Just what? Cause all I hear is bitch. The weight has to be in the scary place, which is over here, right? Mhm. Mm I think the first one you lock into, you're gonna be like, oh, this ain't shit. Yeah. Let's 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 give it a let's give it a whirl. That's what I'm terrified of happening. And look how safe you are. But it feels Look scary. at you, you're right here, you're doing good. I'm in the flesh. It feels scary. That will never happen again. What um? What do you do? Just... That was it, you just missed the lock-in. Once you put the weight on the right spot, you just give it a little scoop out and you're all like, yay!
you're gonna do this. I have faith. I think you're gonna lock into one, it's gonna push a good slide, and you're gonna pop right out. Not the best ledge, but I feel like you can do it. I just don't know how blokes do it like that. You can just get in like it's nothing. You are that bloke. <laughs> That's what I'm scared of. See? <laughs> oh, he's got them wet ass blunt slides. <laughs> ah, why'd that happen? Uh, you missed. Completely? Um, let me see. I think you just locked, like you put your body weight in the blunt, right? But you were too far over the ledge, so you just slid out. I'm dusted. This is how you test if uh, the rail is sackable or not. No, it feels just like I'm super light. Like I have a little bit of, uh, it feels like space walking. Like I'm like, <laughs> like right around here gets a little higher. So it looks like hilarious. Actually kind of sacking right about here. You see me starting to slow down. A little tippy toe. Maybe I yep. the whole Go the whole way. Oh, oh, good again. It so it dips in the middle. Oh, dips right up. Here, real sackable. Tippy toes. If you would believe it, Dan's actually six foot five. Six seven. Six seven, sorry. Oh, you're tall. Never mind. Why? It, it feels awesome. <laughs> like, it feels like gravity is lighter on your feet, so you're like... Yeah. Like being in a pool, almost. Yeah. Like being in a pool, or also a lot like having a pole pressed against your taint real hard huh? as you take steps. I might right? like it too much. Are you way too tall? You reckon? Nothing yet. Nothing? Oh, this is pissing me off. Nothing, dude. Feels like I'm like you're just walking. Bumper cars bouncing around. It's a thing. Just got home to Anaheim right now. Skated all day. I got to Bray at like 11:30, and I left at about five. So that's a big day skating. And I was in the sun the whole time. I had a long sleeve on. Uh, I had fun. I can just feel the endorphins kicking in now. And uh, just had the most nice drive back down from Brea. Not a cloud in the sky, trees are looking nice and green. Pretty excited right now because my girlfriend's about to come over. So yeah, feeling good today guys. <laughs> Howdy partner, if you're new here, subscribe, like the video, comment, share it, whatever. Just, uh, yeah, make sure you watch the video. Check out eveningmob.com, pick something up. Follow me on Instagram at enochism. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm trying to do more skateboarding. My ankle, my left ankle, the one that I damaged on Memorial Day 2021, it's finally not hurting. Like I can skate. Murphy's Law, I was running up the back steps here last night and I sprained my right ankle. <laughs> Make sure you go check out my second channel. I'll leave the link in the description below. Just more content, some sick shit if you like dirt bikes. Cheers for watching the video. See you guys in the next one. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up, don't let nobody out. Oh, get trigger man, bring him to me. Cause I'm tired of this trigger man stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on, I called up another roadie on my flip phone. Junior, I want you to call down the Texas Special Order.